Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet a, another video here at the channel. So if you're into learning DaVinci Resolve filmmaking tips and tricks and have a look at some pretty cool gear, this channel is for you, and I would recommend you to subscribe for this channel. So in this video, we are going to have a look at some new transitions from RT. And as you know, I've had a look at a lot of the stuff from RT transitions, and it's great transitions they always work great and they are very nice to work with and this new thing which is are the rtx um, transitions are made specifically for davinci resolve 16.2 so let's have a look at how they work and uh, as usually i will talk to you along the way so let's go Okay, so first up, I'm going to show you how to import them. Open your downloaded folder and push Ctrl A to select all your settings. And then you have to drag it into your settings, as you see here up in the top corner uh, at the DaVinci Resolve, Fusion and Templates, Edit and Transitions, and then copy paste those in. So when you open DaVinci Resolve up next time, they'll be there. I'll just show you another little trick here as well. So this is the two clips we are going to work with. And uh, first off, uh, all of the transitions will now be under effects, video transitions, and then down here at the bottom at the fusion transitions. And then it's just to find the transition we want. Let's, uh, we have a lot of different ones. So let's take one of these push down here. I'm just going to add that. And then again, do remind the just to remind you that if your clip is not long enough, there is no nothing to work with. So we're going to make our clip a little shorter in both ends. As you see right here, I'm just going to link these together because they weren't. So now we have uh, handles in both ends of our clips to work with, and now we can actually use our transition. And we're just going to make this render so we can have a look at how it looks. So there we have it. So I'll show you a, um, another little trick. It is actually a super great idea to add sound effects to your transitions. And there are no sound effects to these transitions. So we'll just find something in our sound library. If you haven't downloaded the sound library, you can do that for free at Blackmagic's homepage, and you can watch the video up in the corner about that. So I'm just going to find the sound here I want to use. Well, that sounds good enough, I think. That was a good sound. Have a listen to this one. Let's see this one again. Okay, we'll use this sound. And then I am just going to zoom in at the clip here. And I'm looking to find a sound with a high peak and I have something here I think I can use. So this, I'm going to use this high peak sound as my sound. And then I'm just going to apply that in between the clips so it will fit something like around here. I'll just make it a little bit shorter and apply this thing too as well. And I'll just make it uh, so it'll be a at the edit here as well. So we have that. I'm just going to make the sound higher. And then here we have it with the sound. And as you see, that worked out pretty well indeed. So here we have some of the effects or some of the transitions in the pack. There's not all of them, but... Um, and then I did apply some sound design on this thing as well. So that was a look at the new transition pack from RT, the RTX drag and drop transition pack. And I think this is a great pack. 
and it's perfect if you're using the Vinci Resolve version 16.2 and all of the new versions coming in the future because they are made specifically for that. Anyway, I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it will help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on the channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.